Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. My name is Eric with Game Over and today we are viewing a gameplay video of Marvel Powers United. This game is an Oculus exclusive but we are running it on the Vive anyways. So we're going to go over a little bit about this game. I've just loaded in and played it very briefly just to make sure everything was working properly. Uh, so the amazing thing about this, if we go into Hero Select here, we have Spider-Man, Spider Captain America, Black Widow, Iceman, Black Panther, Storm, Hawkeye, Wolverine, Gamora, Rocket Raccoon, Deadpool, Hulk, Captain Marvel, Black Bolt, Crystal, the elements are mine. Thor, Feel the might of Doctor Strange, I am the master. What's my name? Star Lord, Starts and all about that Spider Man. Spider -Sense. Which we're gonna try out here right now. Uh, each of them have different special abilities and uh, power ups that we're gonna. Explore a little bit here. Available missions. Okay. So we are in. We can pick one at random or one of these lovely levels here. We do Asgard, Nowhere, Half World, Wakanda. Lots of cool places. We will do the Dark Dimension, I guess. Sure. The Dark Dimension, once ruled by an ancient, powerful being known as King Olnar. Olnar was tricked by Dormammu and slain. Dormammu now rules the Dark Dimension. It's kind of neat. You can actually look down and see your body. It looks like you actually are the character. The dimensional tear caused by the Masters of Evil. The relays must be protected while they download this data. Once all telemetry data has been received, Lockjaw will teleport in and deploy the shield generator. The generator will need to be powered up. Be prepared for incoming power cells. Locate, retrieve, and return the power cells to the generator to begin its charging sequence. Note, the generator must be protected at all times. Once the generator has completed its charging cycle, it will fire a beam projecting a shield and stopping the Masters of Evil's attack on the world. Protect the thingy. That's basically what we have to do here. Here we go. So each character gets goals that if they perform will unlock different costumes and poses for their characters. Uh, basically all your abilities and everything are unlocked to start with. It's just more cosmetic things that you can earned by beating foes with different abilities and things like that. So we're trying to unlock a few of those as we play here. Alright. The environments are Really I amazing. am the scientist supreme. Uh, I, I lead say. the army of the masters of evil for the mighty Thanos. The universe will bend to our will. This world will be the first. Destroy their defenses. Quantum relay has been activated. You will need to protect it. Have no fear. Spidey is here. Spider reflexes. Data acquired. 
You think I can top that? This is kind of a teleportation dash mechanic as well as regular free locomotion. We have some underground areas. That was not even a fraction of our forces. Our power! Let's see how you handle this. Attack! Lockjaw has more relays coming. Get ready. Repetitive, just with the uh, representing queens over here, defending and destroying enemies over and over again. But being able to play as your favorite Marvel character, swing around as Spider-Man, web people up, playing around—that is pretty awesome. Paper, rock, scissors, uh, definitely paper, worth trying out for sure. Available missions. A temporal incursion has been. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. guys so now we're gonna give Thor a try I thought after playing as uh, spider-man we do one with a flying character just so we could see kind of the difference in controls there so if anyone here is not familiar with Thor you are the god of thunder you can fly around you have a giant hammer you can shoot lightning all kinds of awesome stuff like that uh, and of course those are the challenges that we need to do in order to unlock some other costumes and poses for him. So here we are, a giant hand. You do not have the strength or intelligence hammer. to stop us. Thanos will take this world. I am the scientist supreme and I will lead the forces of the masters of evil to victory. Attack! Okay. So there's my hammer. 
Okay, charge it up and spit it. Might 
of Mjolnir. Controls are pretty easy once you get the hang of them. You can teleport around using the bottom part of the thumb pad. Of course, I'm talking about controls on the uh, vibe through the revive pack. The ocular controls are a little bit more intuitive than the game was designed for the Oculus, but uh, I've definitely played games on the Revive that had worse controls than this. Generally, it seems like the grip button will grab your weapon for whichever character you're playing as. I shall strike you down! Bottom part of the thumb pad on the right hand will come with the rear. Your left hand is like a free locomotion. Uh, I don't find it causing motion sickness, but I still prefer the teleporting just because the through regular locomotion you don't move very quickly. So if you want to get around the battlefield fast and defend your point, Data acquired. Lock jump. Bring the relays back. you want to use the teleport. That's also how you go from being on the ground to being up in the air like that. So you can zip around fairly quick. There's no salvation for you here. Ultron drones, wipe them out! Okay, now we get to fight some... Ultron robot for a change. The enemies are fairly varied, but they all seem to follow certain types. So we have, you know, these regular... Enemies, the ones with big rockets on them. We have these little drone guys here. So you can just smash them with your hammer, of course. Then it flies. They seem to take some area specific damage, so I see their arms and legs come off and stuff like that. You doubt my strength. That is your mistake. Uh, you may have noticed as well these numbers that pop up every time I hit an enemy. So you get points depending on the type of attack you do, and the type of enemy you're doing it on, the more dangerous enemies give you more points for hitting them. Uh, you also get points for certain types of combos and uses of your special ability. Uh, I haven't seen too much with Thor, I noticed with Spider-Man, you get a lot of points if you can catch a missile in the air with your webs and fling it back at them. Uh, I suppose if you play around with the character and more you'll experience discover more of their abilities. Uh, one of the neat things is you look down, you can actually see your body. So it looks like you are the you will see your arm, and that's the worst arm there. Uh, that's definitely a nice touch of one games. You don't see your own body, you just have these disembodied arms floating in midair. So, it's kind of nice, actually. It helps you feel like you actually are that superhero. You may want to reconsider this fight. Scurry back to the shadows. All right, I'm gonna use my special ability here. So, eventually you get to charge up and use your ultimate ability, which is basically uh, an upgraded version of one of your regular attacks. In this case, your lightning blast looks a lot more cool, it does a whole bunch more damage. This is starting to the final stage here, so we have the final thing we have to defend, and we have to put all these power cores into it to get it to uh, activate. 
we have to find them around the level. Nothing out here. Alright, got extra points for that for some reason. Zap. Boom. 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 Sound effect things like from the comic Games, you notice a significant frame rate drop playing the Oculus games. 
Uh, this one does not seem to be the case. There's a lot of stuff going on on the screen. There's explosions, there's enemies everywhere. And there really doesn't seem to be any uh, frame rate loss or lag or anything to that effect. Uh, I haven't adjusted the settings at all. The, all the video settings are set to the highest level right now. Uh, of course, we're running this on uh, 1080 Ti. But even so, I'm seeing games on the 1080 Ti on medium graphics have lag with the rebuy pack. So it really does vary from game to game. Right. So I think we have to defeat this boss before any more of his power goes into the theater. Now we're fighting against Dormammu. So we're gonna get up in the air here. Do I look afraid? <laughs> no. I will bring down the power of the Dark Party. Oh, uh, that was painful. We're almost here now. This battle is drained by energies. I will return. Yeah, the enemies just pretty much spawn right out of thin air constantly all around it. So. You just want to get these things as quickly as you can before your uh, device there is destroyed. Would be interesting to see some other modes. Something other than the. Uh, Straight up to the I suppose the whole point is just being a superhero and destroying lots of enemies, so it kind of serves its purpose. As God's might!
can't grab up my hammer though, so I guess I'm just doing some crazy pose. I don't know. <laughs> it is pretty accurate body tracking. It's not like in some games like Arizona the Sunshine where you're kind of looks like a T Rex. Truly epic. So I got a couple of stars. Fortune of favors me. We're just going to this. Well, that was uh, Marvel Powers United as Thor. I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you enjoyed the video as a whole, please like and subscribe to our channel. And uh, if you're interested in seeing some more of the characters, let us know and maybe we'll do another gameplay video where we show off a couple of the other characters for the game. Thanks again for watching everyone and uh, we will see you next time. Thank you.